It's been three weeks and it's back already. Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. This is really good news and I think this is, well obviously I do these videos um, once every, seems to be three weeks now. Talk about this, the Potion and Revive bundle. I massively rate these particular ones, especially for free to play. Uh, you know, I don't spend in the game and I need to get revives and health potions. Well, yeah, revives and health potions in the most economical way possible. Of course, very important when it comes to content and things like that. I'm still well into trying to get my uh, grind on, if that's anything, in uh, Act 8.4. Uh, I'm a bit behind with it. I'm as I've said, I've got no, I've got no reason to rush. I'm already valiant. I did 100% Necropolis, so uh, see, I've got no kind of like real uh, reason at the moment. Yeah, okay, it'd be great to get another rank three uh, seven star, but uh, those those days will come whenever they'll they'll come. But I massively rate these deals, especially if you're. Uh, if you're behind on, uh, not behind, but if you need them for content, I may do it. But pff, at the end of the day, I've, I've also been kind of whilst I've been playing other games and kind of um, uh, doing other projects, I've managed to keep a good enough stock of doing apothecary on regular basis. I've also been making sure I'm I'm keeping up to date with my 22 hours um, solo events, and of course I've been lowering down my unit spend by uh, holding on to as many energy refills as possible and also you know I do have uh, the prime gaming uh, which does help out massively uh, for this so I'm savvy when it comes to these things savvy uh, savvy when it comes to um, not using my units even though I haven't been farming a lot of units I've been doing the occasional things with that but the main thing is you got it might be the rich what are we going on about the fact is if you didn't know already units buy things. They buy revives. So what is it best to do with your units? That's right, not buy revives. Find ways in which you can get as much value for your units as possible. And you might be thinking, well, Rich, you're doing a video about getting things from the store when it comes to like the potion and bun uh, revive bundles. Yes, but there's extra things as well. So every time I do these videos, I will explain factors that I think are really important. As a lot of you that are free to play know, you very rarely are able to get level 3 and level 4 revives or have a large quantity in your inventory being a non-spending player that doesn't have the sigil means that you have to balance your inventory as uh, creatively as possible and one of those things that's being creative is to go and spread your revives as wide as you can and what I'm talking about when I'm saying spreading wide I'm talking about Making sure you can, whenever possible, to have level 3 revives. Level 4 revives are very difficult to come by. Level 5 revives, again, another kind of like, uh, you know, very incredibly rare to come by. But as soon as you get them, they hold for a longer time. So at this moment in time, I have 20 level 1 revives. I have 20 level 2 revives. I actually have more than those. But the point is, I could also hold a further 20 level 3 revives. Maybe if there was level 4 revives that are easy to get, then I could hold another 20 of that. That in itself is 80 revives that do not have the issues that a lot of free-to-play players have. Which is that you can see right here, like there's 12 days until my level 2 revives uh, expire there. And also, you know, uh, 13 days until my level 1 revive uh, expires there. No, I will get through them. I've got to do Act 8.4 um, over the next uh, couple of weeks, especially leading up to uh, to the end of May, through May, and also I've got to, I've got to be get it, get it done before the new event quest and before I go on holiday because I want to do the big opening, which is the big opening for um, Seven Star Shards, which I have at the moment. What are we up to with that? Just a bit of clock in 102,000. I'm hoping to do at least. 15 uh, seven star crystals being opened in one given time uh, that would be really exciting i'm very much looking forward to that uh, but we'll see you know time is but a factor uh, and there's a lot of things that i need to achieve this month and also going into next month and especially to provide content for you lovely people but the good news about this is that uh, it's great to see this deal come back especially when you've got value uh, as I've said before, there is value to be had. It's always debatable about the 1,000 unit event quest deals, whether or not you like them or don't like them. Uh, but also, you know, from that you get things like uh, level, you get level two team revives. 
This is where I think this becomes a little bit more interesting if you want to save back a thousand units. I'm very much in the mind of value, not spending a huge amount of units uh, for it. Like, here's an example. Here's a here's a clear example with stuff, right? So, for, for, for 1,000 units, which you can see on the screen, I'll just get an arrow actually to follow the kind of process here. So, for 1,000 units, you have 25 usable revives. Yes, it's also debatable to say, yes, level team revives mean you revive your entire team. But... Here's the thing, not every scenario will require the entirety of your roster. So you may be using a full team revive and you're only using two of the five champions. That's not every example, but what I'm saying is I'm just crossing all bases with the theory. But if you spend a thousand units, uh, you know, for, for, you know, just for 500 units, first of all, you get uh, 10 level two revives. You also get uh, 15 level three revives. Now, 500 plus 500 is a thousand units correct follow me with this you then get 10 plus 5 is 15 15 times 2 is 30 so for 1000 units you would technically get 25 versus 30 so there you go like you just you get five extra revives for the thousand units spent Yes, people will probably be screaming to say, well, you'd also get like a lot more health potion value um, with that one for the 1,000 units. I totally, I would totally agree with that. That's true. But it depends what you need. I feel personally that you, because you get more revives per unit spend versus the uh, the deal that's currently on at the moment, uh, this one on screen, oh, that's me, uh, this one on screen right now, uh, that it, it's slightly better. And it's slightly better because you're like, well, depending on where you're on the game, you could go and pick up from free four hour free crystals, 22 hour events, the health potions you require. So you could go like, OK, well, look at it this way. I'll just go and grab the health potions that I require. Oh, look, there's a level four health potion there. That's not the same for everybody because everyone has different equal value of uh, of those. But of course, again, we're going complexity into complexity into complexity. And I have to guess. 100,000 people in this community of how their account functions. Um, but yeah, that's that's really it and the point. You know, it's up to you. Uh, the extent of uh, unit spend that you'd want to do for stuff. I personally, and as I've said, I massively recommend the Potion and Revive bundle, this one here. Now, the other ones I'm not too fussed with because it's more of an alliance-based perspective and... If I was to choose to grab any of those, I'd prefer the Glory Store. But the Potion Revive bundles do give players options. It also gives them options if you're looking to do content in and around the next week. You have seven days to make a decision on this, or six days and whatever it is, hours, to make a decision. And that decision will be, okay, well, in this next week, I either want to do some content and then top back up using this, or I want to do a load of content and see where I'm at. And go, okay, well, I've lost all my 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 revives and health potions, but I have farmed a good chunk of, or fought through a good chunk of Necropolis, or a piece of content, or Act 8, or anywhere in the game. And then, or even Winter of War, if you're doing it for the last little dregs of it. So, in that particular point, you're like, well, I've, well, I can just top back up this, and you spend less on revives than you would do. So, you know, again, we'll, we'll kind of like, just another kind of like point on the matter. I know, Rich, go on, what are you talking about? Uh, look, there is there is definite value to this. So we're looking at it this way, like, okay, I've run out, I've run out of, uh, I've run out of health, po no, I've run out of revives and health potions, maybe. You were getting, I think we've worked out, yes, yeah, so 850, it's even there, I don't know why I'm kind of looking at the calculator, but 815 units of value uh, because... Uh, you know, 815 units of value, and you might be like, well, I'll sink a revive in. One revive turns into, you know, uh, 10 times 40. Oh, I'm, uh, 400 units cost well. Um, oh, I'm, I get down to further, what, five times plus, uh, you know, 200. So see, you spent 600 units already, and you're like, well, I then had to buy a load of health potions. And by the time you've added it all up, it's probably come to around about that 815 units kind of cost. But you could have just dropped into the store and dropped 500 units and bought a pack of this, the Revive and Bundle pack, and 
set yourself up quite nicely. So that's what I'm th- what I'm kind of like trying to get to to get to you lovely people. And you know you all know it. It's just a case of like this is a reminder to say, hey, think about this as an option. Massively rate command for continuing to do this because they could stop. They could stop doing this, but they've done this consistently since I think February. So keep it up. This is what players want to see. If you're going to screw, well, I say screw people over with the apothecary um, and revive farming, at least this is in as an option. But in any case, what are your thoughts on this deal? Make sure to get it. It's your reminder. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Cheers.